welcome to RC Video Reviews. Today I'm going to show you how to use a 6S battery on a 4S quad. Before I get into Betaflight, I want to talk a little bit about motor characteristics. When it comes to brushless motors, there are a couple of different things that determine the power output, not the least of which is the size of the motor. That's normally reflected in a can size like 2207. You'll hear that reference quite a bit. And sometimes those measurements refer to the outer diameter or the can itself. Sometimes they refer to the stator inside. But in any event, those numbers are an indicator of the size of the motor. And generally, a larger motor makes more power. The other factor that influences the way a motor makes power is something called KV. KV is a relationship between motor speed and generated back EMF. So for the geeks out there, there's a formula that says KV equals speed divided by volts times 1.3433. For the purposes of this video though, we're gonna go ahead and use the traditionally commonly accepted industry standard definition of KV as RPM per volt. It doesn't really matter that it's back EMF because we're simply using the motor's rated KV value as a scaling factor. So without getting into a long debate about what KV actually is, let's just accept the fact that the motor has a KV rating and we're going to scale that rating down. Another thing to understand about KV is that 6S motors tend to have a lower KV value. That means they have more winds inside and those winds support more volts and fewer amps. Higher KV motors like those used for 4S batteries have fewer winds that support less volts and more amps. You might want to say, hey John, can I just limit the throttle by reducing my weight on the radio or changing my rates in beta flight? And the answer is no, that won't solve the problem because that only limits the RC input itself. If you have a problem and the quad needs to correct itself, the quad doesn't understand that you have a rate or a weight limit on your RC input, so it will use the full power of the motor to make that correction. So the answer is no, you can't simply lower your weights in your radio or change the rates in beta flight to limit power output because if the quad needs to make a correction, it doesn't understand those limits. The answer lies in the beta flight motor output limit scale factor. The cool thing about this is that it's fire and forget. Once you have it all set up, beta flight will detect whether or not you've got a six cell battery connected or a four cell battery connected, and it'll set the motor scale factor accordingly. In order to implement this safely in beta flight, there are four things we need to care for. Number one, you have to ensure your quad can accept the higher voltage. That means your cameras, your VTX, your power distribution board, your ESC. If you have CADEX equipment or DJI equipment, make sure that they're connected to a BEC that limits the output voltage to the correct level for that gear because the last thing you want to do is plug in a 6S battery and watch your $179 VTX go up in smoke. The good news related to power is that your current requirements will actually probably drop. So your ESC current requirements will probably get lower, although I haven't tested that yet, so I can't swear to it. I'm going to help you out and let you know that I've already performed this modification on three different quads, the Diatone Roma F5, the Nazgul 5 V2, and the Sector 5. All three of them support 4S and 6S out of the box. For step number two, if you're not already using multiple profiles, we're going to copy our profile information from profile one to profile two and profile three if you want to use that one. Number three, you need to calculate the beta flight scale factor for your motor. Number four, we're going to add the scale factor, cell count, and a catch-all value of negative one for your final profile. When negative one is used in a profile, if that profile is selected, beta flight will automatically switch to the next profile that has an auto profile cell count matching the detected cell count. If there is none, it'll switch automatically to the next profile having zero for auto profile cell count. Since there's only three, the bottom line is it'll ensure that you never select the third profile in case something goes wrong. The last thing we need to do is test. We'll plug in a four cell battery and a six cell battery just to make sure our profiles change. For this demonstration, we'll use my Diatome Roma. I'll connect a USB cable to my computer and we'll fire up Betaflight. Once in beta flight, click on PID tuning and set your profile to profile number one. I've got PID settings I'd like to keep on subsequent motor scaling profiles. So notice on this profile drop down, we've got profile one, profile two, and profile three. What I'm gonna do is copy these values to profile two. So come over here to this button and click copy profile values. And you'll see the option says copy values from current profile to profile two. Just go ahead and hit copy. Now, once you've done that, 
Notice down at the bottom there's this option called Scale Factor. We'll set up Profile 1 for 4S. So in that case, we want to either leave or set our Scale Factor to 100% and then just enter a cell count in of 4. And what that means is when there's a 4-cell battery connected, Betaflight will automatically select this profile. The next thing we need to do is take a look at profile number 2. And in profile number 2, we've got to come up with our Scale Factor and a cell count. I'll put a formula on the screen to help you do the math, but the simple answer is you take the KV of what you desire. So I want the KV off of a six cell motor. In the case of the Diatome Roma, that's 1700 KV. And I'm gonna divide that by the KV that I've got. In the case of the Diatome Roma, we'll take the six cell motor KV value of 1700. We'll divide it by the four cell motor value of 2450. And then we'll take that number and multiply it times 100. So that gives us 69.38. We'll just stick 69 in there. And then we use the cell count of six. Now we hit save. Last thing to do is activate profile three, scroll down to the bottom and change the cell count to negative one. Remember what I said in the intro? The reason we're doing that is it's a catch-all. Basically this ensures that the Betaflight profile selected will either be profile one or profile two and not profile three. And the reason we're doing that is because we just wanna make sure this profile is never selected because it's got a scale factor that may not match up with the batteries we're using. We can wrap this up by hitting save. The next thing we need to do is test. So here's my four cell battery. The reason I'm gonna start with this one is because we're on rate profile number two right now, and I wanna see this switch from rate profile number two to rate profile number one. So I'll do that by connecting my battery to the quad. You can see in Betaflight, we've switched over to profile number one and see the cell count down at the bottom says four. That looks like it works. The next thing we'll do is disconnect our four cell battery and connect the six cell battery. Again, I can't stress this enough. Make sure all your equipment on your quad can accept a 6S input. If it can't, you're definitely gonna smoke things. Okay, there's my six cell battery connected. And you can see Betaflight switched to profile number two, and I've got a scale factor of 69 with a cell count of six. I wanted to do a flight video to show you guys how this worked out, but unfortunately the six cell batteries I have on order haven't even shipped yet, and I don't know when they're gonna be here. So I wanted to get the information out there, and there you go. We'll do it without the flight for now. And as soon as I get my six cell batteries, I'll do a flight and show you the difference between the two. A couple of closing thoughts on this. You can't take a six cell battery and scale it up. Remember what I said earlier, on a lower KV motor like a six cell, you've got more winds for more volts and fewer amps. You can't scale it up because the motor's not designed to run the higher amps. The higher KV motors have fewer winds with thicker wire, less volts, and they're designed to take more amps. So you can scale a 4S motor down, you cannot scale a 6S motor up. I also cannot stress enough, make sure you understand your voltage limitations on your quad. The last thing you want to do is plug 24 volts in on a system only designed to take 17. Because if you do, you're going to let a lot of smoke out and that's not a good thing. And finally, the best thing about this is you can switch back and forth between a 6L battery and a 4L battery at will and not create any problems for your motors. There you go guys, now you know how to switch back and forth between 6S and 4S batteries on your quadcopter using Betaflight. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know a new material hits the channel. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy. Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon. For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen.